everyone, welcome to day 13 of 31 days of Halloween. Today's tutorial is on this super quick and easy slime liner. This is in case you don't want to get dressed up for Halloween but still want to be in the Halloween spirit. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with my base already done. We're just going to do the eyes and lips together. So taking my Morphe 35B palette and the bright green shade, as well as my Urban Decay Electric palette and the very bright, almost yellow green shade, we're going to mix the two together and use this in our crease. So I'm blending this quite high up. You'll see that I'm switching brushes throughout. Sometimes I like to keep it more in the crease and then sometimes I like to diffuse the color. And this took a little bit of building up, but I eventually got to the color intensity that I wanted. You can also see that I flicked the shadow out quite a bit to create that swoosh kind of a look. So next we are going to do a full cut crease. So I'm just going to take some concealer and a flat brush and I'm going to cut my crease. Take your time doing this guys, it makes all the difference in the world. So we're going to cut the whole entire lid and then as we were winging out the eyeshadow we are also going to cut that part, still leaving the wing but this will allow us to put the actual winged liner there. So next, taking my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani shade and just a skin tone shade, I'm going to pack this over the concealer just so that it doesn't crease and it stays nice and bright. Next, taking my NYX Vivid Brights liner, this is the green one, we are going to wing out our liner. So I'm doing quite a dramatic wing and quite bold as well. I'm really sorry, this liner is pretty hard to see on camera but after I outline it, it's much easier. So the wonderful thing about this eyeliner is that both sides do not have to be symmetrical. The lines don't have to be perfectly even or straight because we're gonna add these little bumps and drips on the liner anyways. And I liked the look of the bumpiness of the liner. So next, just adding a couple drips coming down from the liner itself. And then taking my Stila Stay All Day Black Wick Liquid Liner, I'm going to outline the line that we just drew. So I'm going to outline it on the top as well as closest to the lash line and on the bottom. This gives it that cartoony kind of effect. So you're going to go all over the squiggly lines, you're going to go over the little drips and bumps. And then you're going to also go closest to the lash line so that we can hide the lash band as well. Next, I'm just adding a couple little lines and just to accentuate the drips and whatnot. And then I'm going to take my Eye Spy Lashes. These are the Glam Style and we're going to apply those. And then for lipsticks today, I'm going to use two Kat Von D lipsticks. So first I'm using Ludwig, which is just my favorite everyday nude color. You can also do a green lip with this, a black lip with, lip with this. I just went for a little bit more wearable. And the second shade is Ophelia, which is a lighter, more peachy shade. And I'm just keeping this in the center of my lips. And then going back in with the crease shades that we used, I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. Again, just building up the intensity and smoking it out. And then taking a black pencil liner, I'm going to apply this to my waterline. As well, I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Lastly, taking my Kat Von D Alchemist palette, I'm going to take the green emerald shade. So this is a green highlight, and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners as the final touch. That is it for today's look everyone if you enjoyed this really really super quick and easy look then be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the rest of my 31 days of halloween and we'll see you again soon bye everyone